fellow explorers, today we are at Knott's Berry Farms Boysenberry Festival 2021. And in this video, we're gonna tell you everything you need to know if you're planning a visit to the Boysenberry Festival and we're gonna sample 10 different Boysenberry items. Who am I with here? This is my co-host, our traveling princess, who's gonna help us out, let us know what she likes here as well. We started our visit at the uh, Fireman's Barbecue, um, and we've got three things here. We've got the chicken and apple sausage on a boysenberry bun with boysenberry mayo. We have a elote, or Mexican roasted corn, with boysenberry mayo on this. Did I say this had mayo? This was boysenberry mustard. This is boysenberry mayo. And then this is a boysenberry aqua fresca with a cucumber and some other things to wash it all down. I'm gonna sample those in just a second. I wanna tell you how this festival works. 45 bucks for adults, you get one of these cards. There's like 80 food items, you get five tastings per person. There's two of us adults here that bought this and so that's why we're gonna sample 10 things. She'll help us sample a few of them too, I think. Let's go ahead and try the hot dog. There's a sausage in there, it's fresh grilled. Juicy, spicy. I don't really taste a lot of boysenberry on it, but it's a pretty good sausage. Now, let's get into the elote right here. This thing, I got this at the beginning because I felt like it's the most purple and interesting looking thing here. Hmm. I like elote. And I like this rendition because the boysenberry makes it a little bit sweet. And the boysenberry aqua fresca, actually quite good. OC girl, she thought it would be too sour, but it's actually pretty smooth. So now while that chicken and apple sausage wasn't super blueberry flavored, our traveling princess right here, she does approve of that boysenberry flavored bun. It's at least a pretty fun color, isn't it? Yes. Now let me show you a little bit around uh, the park and then we'll go check out some more boysenberry eats. What do you say? So most of the park is open, actually nearly all of it is open to walk around. The shops are open, the games are open, the rides are closed, which you might think is depressing, but we think it's actually kind of interesting to see these rides. And the fact that the tickets are only $45 works out pretty well for us because she's too small to go on any of these rides at Knott's Berry Farm anyway. We almost hope the Nosbury Farm keeps doing these kinds of food festivals when the ride's open. We know they probably won't, but, but we like it because we don't want to pay a bunch of money to go on a bunch of rides that, that we can't even go on. In the park, they've got lots of great entertainment. As you come in, you'll be greeted by the deputy mayor telling you all about what to eat and how this place works. How are y'all doing down there? Pretty good, how about yourself? Oh, I'm delightful, I'm rich. I am living the life here, man. Nothing over my head but sky. We've got 80 varieties of food with boysenberry here for you. Just show that card around your neck and any one of these food booths they're going to give you a plate of goodness. Then further in the park, you'll find Miss Lotta, Lotta Leftovers. Now, come on, give me an ingredient. Yes, you, of course. Baking soda? Baking soda. Okay, that works out. Okay, we got baking soda, flour, boysenberries. Okay, we're going to put this glorious glop here in my oven. One second, we're just gonna let it sit for a minute. It's fine. It'll be <laughs> In front of the Calico Saloon, the Rainmaker was selling some famous boysenberry elixirs as part of his show and doing magic tricks as well. Oh, that is tart. <gasps> That's good. Okay. Now, folks, like I said, with just a sip, you will have the best luck and be able to manipulate cards that would make even Wild Bill Hickok quake in his boots. Uh, allow me to demonstrate here. All throughout the park, there's characters ready for a meet and greet, socially distanced, of course. Here's Easter Bunny Snoopy taking about 10 foot away pictures. Now the cast here plays characters, some of the attendees do too. This girl, she was really all decked out with her boysenberry pie. Now much like Mickey is the character of Disneyland, here it's the Peanuts, Snoopy and Charlie Brown, and yes, you can get lots of Peanuts themed boysenberry merchandise during Boysenberry Festival. And yes, they even have boysenberry themed hats. You can get yourself a boysenberry beanie, 28 bucks. And if you didn't get enough boysenberries while you're here, you can pick up a boysenberry plant. Just 20 bucks, have boysenberries at home 
all the time. But I think the coolest of the shops here is the Bottle House because this gift shop isn't just fake bottles, but it, they're actually real bottles. You can see on the outside, it looks like bottles. And then on the inside, you can see the bottles on the outside come through and you can actually see the light come through those bottles. So now we wandered over to Fiesta Village to check out Fiesta Dog. This is like the Mexican themed part of Knott's Berry Farm. And we got the etouffee with boysenberry shrimp with non bread over rice. This is like a whole multicultural experience all in one thing. So etouffee, you know, kind of a, a southern dish from like New Orleans. The rice, let's check out that boysenberry sausage. It's good and it's spicy. Like the boysenberry bun, I don't taste the boysenberry flavor. I do like it though. So now that we've been through almost the whole bowl of the etouffee, second thought on the sausage, if you just eat it by itself, then it does actually have a pretty good hint of a blue, blue boysenberry flavor to it. Next up in the Fiesta Village from the Cantina, we have the boysenberry shrimp ceviche. And in addition to there being shrimps in this, there is also an actual piece of boysenberry. You know, going around this boysenberry festival, we even like these things taste a little bit like boysenberry, but where are the actual boysenberries? There's one. Oh, there's only one. I can't eat. OC Girl needs to eat it. We need to share it. We probably need to split it. Okay, I'm gonna eat that off camera, but pretty good ceviche. But I think the boysenberry taste is gonna be in the boysenberry. Now you might be asking yourself, what is a boysenberry anyway? Well, good news, they've got signs all around the park to tell you things about boysenberries. And here we learn that the boysenberry is a cross between a raspberry, blackberry, and loganberry. If you wanna try one of Knott's signature drinks, you can get the Knott's Berry Punch. And now they also have a sugar-free one, but you have to get them at one of the refresh stations. The Knott's Berry Farm staff does a really good job of keeping the tables clean. They are constantly wiped down. We never sat down at a dirty table. And if for some reason you did find a dirty table or you want it extra clean, you'll find sanitizing wipes in these things so you could wipe it yourself. And you'll find hand sanitizer all over the park. Keep your hands nice and clean. 3.30 midday seems like a good time to get dessert. What have we got here? We have the strawberry funnel cake, boysenberry ice cream, and a lemon glaze. Let's dive into this one. This is also in the ghost town, though. It's in a lot of different places. Let's give it a go. Mm. Pretty good combination of flavors. This ice cream does taste like boysenberry. Attending the boysenberry festival is kind of like a movable buffet. You know, buffets have kind of shut down with the pandemic, but this is the next best thing. It's like a buffet and you actually get a lot of exercise in between meals. Now, one pro tip I have for you is uh, bring some containers to take things home. We just saw two folks walking past us that were likely taking some things to go where they just put another plate on top of another. You might find you have more food than you can eat here. So bring some bags, bring some containers so you can take some for later. We're now at the Boardwalk Barbecue. Our traveling princess is getting really hungry. She's eating her feet now. I don't know that she'll like these because lots of kids hate these. Her papa's gonna like them. These are the balsamic boysenberry Brussels sprouts. Here at Boardwalk Barbecue, a couple other options. If you're looking for something to really fill you up is the boysenberry meatloaf, really big portions, and also the boysenberry chicken wings. Let's go ahead and dive into these Brussels sprouts. Mm. It's a good Brussels sprout. Not too veggie tasting. Though I will say when we were here for Knott's Mary Farm before Christmas, I think the Brussels sprouts we had then were a little bit tastier than these. Now right near Boardwalk Barbecue, in the Boardwalk are most of these Boardwalk games that you can win stuffed animals. This one's called Hang Time. And if you hang from this bar for two minutes, then you win the big stuffed animal. 
He made it 33 seconds. Oh. From the Charleston Circle booth, we have a boysenberry beef stew with a biscuit. It's got big chunks of beef in here. After those Brussels sprouts, I needed something a little bit more, less vegetable-y, a little more meaty. So let's go ahead and try this. Mm. That's actually quite a tender beef. And the biscuit. I always love Knott's biscuits. And dipping it in the beef stew makes it soft and tasty. I like this one. Boysenberry item number nine. Continuing the beef to help balance out those Brussels sprouts. I really have to balance out those Brussels sprouts. This is the boysenberry brisket mac and cheese. This is a really good barbecue brisket that does have a nice um, boysenberry twist to the barbecue sauce on the brisket. And the mac and cheese, nice and creamy. And for our final dish, we have the boysenberry bread pudding from the Ghost Town Bakery. This is served warm, fresh scoop. It's got some vanilla glaze on it. Mm. Nice and sweet. This is really great for our 10th and final dish. Now, what were our favorites is probably what you're thinking. The brisket mac and cheese was pretty good. The funnel cake was pretty good as well. Those are probably our top two favorites. But now you might be wondering, but Chris, there's like 80 items. What do other people like? Well, you know, I ran into some other explorers and let's hear what they like. Hello, this is uh, LA Danny from Back to the Fun channel. And um, I'm here trying the mac and cheese pulled pork. It says boysenberry, but that's just a gimmick. Don't worry about it, it's still good. I give it five good jobs. That's what I'm rating it. That's the highest rating. And um, it goes down the hatch. Mm. Can't get enough. So we have fellow explorer Jason Hello. here. Uh, Jason, what's your favorite part about this festival? Uh, my favorite part about the festival, especially in this era that we have right now with, with COVID, is Knott's just does a spectacular job about keeping everything clean and safe and the food is is super delicious and it's, it's just great for families to come out here and Knott's is at the forefront of doing this and they are doing a spectacular job. So kudos to the Knott's team. Good job, Jason. And what do you got right there? Uh, I got this like uh, Thai, uh, Thai curry bowl with some boysenberry sauce. Haven't had it yet, but it smells really good. All right. Thank you, Jason. Great. Thank you. So Randy, what, yes. what do you got here? Um, I got a uh, boysenberry pie uh, with whipped cream and um, uh, it's part of the food festival. Is this your favorite thing to eat here? Um, yeah, so far it is. It's delicious. And um, you know, I got, I got a smoothie as well. And um, yeah, so I think it's just a great experience being here and uh, it's just the first day back. So right on. Thank yeah. you, Randy. Now a couple of pro tips I want to leave you with in case you are coming here. The first one is come at a time early enough so that you get two meals in. Otherwise you'll find you won't have enough time left in the day to eat all of the items. Five items worth is pretty good for two meals for most hungry adults. We got here at noon and we finished our second meal at five. When we came here previously for the Mary Farm, we got here more like four o'clock and we, we had to bring food home because we didn't have enough time to stuff it all in our bellies. And my pro tip number two is pace yourself while you're here. You don't need to get all your food right as you get in. Actually spend some time looking around. Look at what other people have on their tables. The portion sizes can be really different. Some good things are really Really good deal like the meatloaf from the barbecue place. Some things are really bad deal like the slices of boysenberry pie. So my pro tip related to boysenberry pies, if you want boysenberry pie, don't get it inside the park as part of your tastings. Get it outside the park uh, at the next to the Knott's Chicken Dinner restaurant. You can get like a whole boysenberry pie pretty cheap, way cheaper than you'll be paying for the slices inside. Well, if you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy some of my other videos about what's going on at Southern California theme parks. You can click on the screen for a few of them. You'll also find links in the description below. Everything that's going on at Disneyland, Legoland, and other theme parks in Southern California. As usual, I won't say goodbye because I'll see you in one of those videos.